Every cruise cabin, whether you're in an inside ocean view, balcony, mini suite, or even beyond, needs a little bit of extra organization. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you the cruise tips, tricks, and cruise essentials that we use to organize our aft veranda cabin. Hi there, I'm Lana from the website lifewallcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now we are on board the Celebrity Summit and I'm feeling actually pretty lucky because we do have a really great cabin, much more spacious than we're usually used to. I'll show you around the cabin and I'll tell you the story of how this ended up happening well along the way during this video. But what I did do and I want to share with you is we used a lot of different items to make this space still uh, feel like our own, be really functional. So whether you have a small inside cabin or whether you have a larger veranda cabin, all of these tips and tricks can be super useful for you. So taking a look around, as you enter our cabin, what we did is we used this wall, uh, and it really is more spacious than a lot of other cabins we had, but we always make this wall, as soon as you come into the cabin, sort of our little bit of a vestibule area. So I have my magnetic hooks just hanging up there. Now these are heavy duty hooks and they do stick onto this um, metal wall so you could see. And I think they probably are about a 50 pound one. I'll leave links to the different items that I've used down below this video. Now something else that I've done for a couple of cruises now is I brought this foldable collapsible laundry hamper. It starts off as next to nothing. It's very, very small, but so handy on the cruise. We're now on day seven, so this is all of our dirty laundry, but that's just been a nice way to keep everything in one space and really not have it crowd up the rest of the cabin. Now, as I mentioned, this is an aft family veranda. So what we did, there's a little bit of a funny story to it. We actually booked a guarantee cabin and I booked this cruise probably about a month before the cruise, maybe even a little bit less. Um, and all of the cabins that were available were facing forward or not facing forward, they were forward. So I didn't see any cabins I was really dying to book. So I booked as a guarantee and I was pleasantly surprised that this is the cabin that I got. So really nice and spacious, a lot of room for storage, much more than we're actually used to. And even a separation in our cabin, we are three people. So my husband, Frank, myself, and my son Ethan. So it was really nice to have these separate spaces as well. I think it might have spoiled us to be perfectly honest. So here is our closet. I'll open up the other side too, but I did want to kind of show you what it looks like. So we have some room down at the bottom that we were able to keep our shoes. And then on this side, we do have a uh, longer space, so great for dresses and that kind of thing. And you can see I have my carry-on bag down at the bottom. I love this carry-on bag. Uh, that's just my favorite. And here, just for everybody, the mirror, the full-length mirror is tucked away into the closet. So it's not immediately visible as you enter the cabin. You might think there is no mirror. That's what I thought at the beginning, but there is. So moving on to the bathroom. Let me show you some of the different things that we used. And you can see there really is more space even in the bathroom than some other cruise ships. So you do have some shelf space, which is nice. Now on this cruise, we did use these toothbrush covers. That's definitely a newer cruise essential that we're bringing. We just find it a little more sanitary. And poopery, very handy for obvious reasons when there isn't that much ventilation, I think in these cruise ship cabin bathrooms. Now that is our toiletry bag and I really do keep my medication and a few other things that I don't really use very often, but I do wanna have there. And I also keep, I guess, hair elastics, different things like that. And we did unpack some of the different items because we had the space. Now, just to show you, we have two of those hanging toiletry bags. This is the one that my son brings. He just finds it handy and it's really good too because this way when we're in um, the hotel the night before the cruise, we can bring that as well. Now, just taking a look at the shower, I know a lot of people do wonder um, on Celebrity, you do actually have, I'll just show you, you have a shampoo, a body wash and a conditioner. So I appreciate that. And I still did bring my own uh, shampoo and conditioner, but I like having a separate body wash. On the last cruise that we were on, uh, we didn't have a separate body wash and I kind of did miss that. Now, another way that we organize our cabin is with these magnetic clips. So this just allows me to keep the things that are really important. I don't wanna lose them. So I sort of hung that up 
and oh is it still there yes so the daily planner even though it's on our phone I can keep my daily planner up so we can also take a look at that as well you may want to highlight some items uh, if you like to do that you can do that as well really nice spacious cupboards and by the way if you're on the celebrity summit you'll notice that this basic cupboard space is actually the same even if you're in an inside cabin we were in an inside cabin um, before the pandemic in 2019 and really the space was pretty good as well obviously the cabin was more cramped but the space was pretty good so there's the safe and usually I just took the things out of the safe before but this is my jewelry case so I do kind of organize my jewelry in there and this is my passport holder and I just kept all of my important papers all in there as well so that when I did board the cruise ship I had my Bermuda uh, travel certificates, all of the different things we needed, proof of vaccine, etc. We had it all there. And uh, this is the aloe vera. Uh, we've been lucky. We didn't really get too sunburned on this cruise, but really, really handy to have just in case. And we do still put it on because it's moisturizing and I just find it a really good item to have. And you never know when you get sunburned. Now here we have also a little more cupboard space. Now up here, I'll just show you them in a minute, but I've got my water shoes. Now, actually, this was one of the items that even though I brought it on my cruise and I've used them in the past, I didn't actually use them on, uh, on this trip. Perhaps because when we did go over to Horseshoe Bay Beach, we didn't really go in the water that much. It was really kind of crowded and we didn't really go. So I think that was why. Um, and then this is just another cupboard. And um, what I do have here is my downy wrinkle release. I always bring this on a cruise. And yes, I really do find that it works. We spray items and a little bit of um, shower steam if we need it, and it really does help. And white, one item that we always bring is uh, boning. I just find it works really well, and you could even use it preventatively. So when you get that little touch of a headache that sometimes you get with the ship movement or a little touch of um, movement in the stomach, just if you take one, that really does seem to help. And I would take it even before the movement gets too bad. So I'm just gonna keep walking around this cabin, showing you around and showing you the items as we go. Now here is uh, the desk and there's a TV above it. I don't even think we turned on the TV once. Um, I did work a little bit on this cruise. So we had our computer over here. My husband worked a little bit as well, not too much, but you know, the YouTube stuff. And I did bring my power bar as well for my chargers, all of the different things. Now, something to note, a lot of people ask about this is that the cruise ship, the cruise cabin attendant lent us um, an extension cord. And the reason they lent us this extension cord is because there's actually no plugs at all in this entire space. So this is where my son was sleeping. This folds up to a couch. I'll make sure that I put a little bit of B-roll, like a screenshot of, um, of what it looks like when it's made up into a couch. He just left it as a bed the whole time and that was fine. Um, but a really great space, but funny enough, not one single plug. So what we did is at nighttime, um, we would take that extension cord and we would plug it over here and my son would then use it to plug his different items, uh, you know, overnight, like his uh, phone, etc. But this could be good to know if you have a CPAP machine, um, anything like that that you need an extension cord do communicate with the cruise line because oftentimes they can provide you with an extension cord for that or otherwise you may be able to bring your own or they may ask you to bring your own but you do want to check with them now over here something really nice is on one side of the bed you do have a couple of outlets as well so we do did bring um, these items we have another one of these um, extra sort of outlets and uh, we did also bring this digital alarm clock which is by battery even though we have a phone just sometimes this was nice to see during the night if we wanted to know what time it was now i love these night tables really really good night tables my husband just kept the items that he wanted next to his bed and we had two shelves here but truthfully we didn't even use them but if you do have a book or anything like that, um, a really good space, or even if you have items that are still in the packing cubes that you wanna keep, a good space next to each um, side of the bed. Now, something else that I use, especially, it does help me a little bit to plan my outfits, especially for the evening time, is the cruise outfit planner. So in this case, on uh, Celebrity, we have two nights that are evening chic, so I already planned out my outfits for that. 
And then I had other items that I thought I would probably want to wear. I did make a couple of changes, but that really did help me to at least keep organized with at least what I absolutely needed. And I did really have this even done as I packed for my husband and my son. Now, if you are interested in cruise packing lists and cruise outfit planning forms, and basically all of the different kind of forms that you could use to keep organized for your cruise, including even planning your shore excursions, I do have all of that as part of the Ultimate Cruise Planner. Now, the Ultimate Cruise Planner is a 47 page downloadable printable cruise planner that you can print off the pages that you need for your cruise for as many times as you cruise. Now, if you are interested in checking out the Ultimate Cruise Planner, I am gonna leave the link down below in the description of this video in case you do wanna check that out. Now, something else that I keep with me and it really kinda helps me to keep organized, I kept this in my drawer, uh, but basically it's my folder with everything that I would need. So I have like my cruise itinerary just to kinda keep myself on track when I wanna look. I keep all of my confirmations. So if for any excursions, I print all of that out to have um, as well. And then I even keep a couple of file folders. So as I get receipts, especially if I do um, have them printed out, I have them as well. Now, for some reason, I tend to use glasses, drinking glasses as a bit of storage. So when they are available. So I actually did save up. These are the chocolates that were left on the pillow. I kind of saved them up. I like that Celebrity still has them. So these are really nice. Please let me know if you do this as well. Do you like the chocolates that are sometimes left on the pillows? Have you found cruise ships are still leaving them? I love them. And sometimes I bring them home and it lets me enjoy one once in a while, leave them out of my coffee table or something like that once I get home from the cruise and it does remind me of that nice vacation. Now, my tie to go is an item I've used a couple of times on my cruise. I definitely find it handy and I bring it everywhere. Storage space is really one of the best that we've ever seen. So this is just taking a look into uh, my drawer and I did use my packing cube still. So sometimes I keep a few items in the packing cube. Um, over here too, we have a couple of packing cubes. Just makes it sometimes a little bit easier even to pack up at the end of the cruise. We did overpack just a little again. Here's a little mini fridge. And um, these actually, just in case you were wondering, these are instead of water bottles, these aluminum cans that they have that are apparently better to recycle. So you won't have water bottles anymore on Celebrity, but these aluminum cans. Now another item that we bring, and this is what my husband brings as a carry-on bag. It's really quite good. He's able to put the laptop and other items in there. There's actually two different zippered compartments. I'll just show you if you do need um, a carry-on bag. I'll just show you inside it. If you do need a carry-on bag, it's really handy with lots of different pockets, which are great. And you do have space as well. So if you want a to put like for the night before the cruise, if you wanna put a packing cube here with different clothes that you're going to wear um, to the cruise port, this is something really good as well. And again, I will link all of the items that I am showing you in this video. I'm gonna link them down below in the description below this video. Now a cruise essential that's often forgotten and it really is so easy and inexpensive are these plastic luggage tag holders. So we always, instead of folding them up and stapling them and laminating them or taping them, we just, the morning of the cruise, we just fold them up and put them in those luggage tag holders. Much simpler, I think. Now I'll show you around the space just another minute or so. Um, lots of nice uh, storage in here too. I've never been on uh, a ship where we've actually had so much storage, but we don't love to unpack just about everything. But really, if you were on a longer cruise, what an amazing, uh, cabin this is and just something to note if you have a bigger family I believe that this chair also turns into a bed as well so just uh, phenomenal really for a cabin now a couple items that I forgot about but I do want to make sure that I mention are these lanyards that's my hair clip on my lanyard but I always um, keep um, my cruise card now in a lanyard whether I wear it all the time or not it's just so easy to always find it and I make sure that I hang it up and we brought this beach bag and this was just a really good place to put like three towels in it it's just a really spacious beach bag we've had it for years and it just works really well for us now also something that we really used for the pool mainly is our towel clips 
and truthfully these ones here and uh, these flamingos really have stood up the test of time um, these are like the last couple of remaining ones I have from a pack of these so I don't really recommend these kind even though these are a little bit more expensive truthfully these have lasted years so this is me from the future just inserting a little part I just came back from the pool something I did want to show you is this bag right over here really a very good mesh bag what I realized also is even if you're going somewhere like to the beach and there's a little bit of sand a mesh bag is pretty nice because the sand of course uh, doesn't really get in it we were able to keep our items here well let's head out to the balcony so this is our first time in an aft veranda i will share a little bit of the pros and cons what we thought about the cabin in another video but just let me show you this amazing view so i hope that you made it to the end of this video because then well you get to end off with this so I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you'd like to see more of this aft cabin and maybe the pros and the cons. There were a lot of pros. Please let me know down in the comments below. And I will leave the information as well for the Ultimate Cruise Planner linked down in the description below this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. And please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Bye for now and happy cruising.